Y1 Hockey were kind enough to send me several of their sticks to review back in late September. Since then I have spent several weeks using each stick while the UK was still allowed to be outside and playing hockey. From then on I really struggled to get any pitch time to capture the footage to use. I ended up filming for two nights in a row right before the UK went back into lockdown. I decided to hold off on the release of these reviews until there was an end date to the UK lockdown and we could get back out and play hockey. Which brings me to now. Now I should stress that all of the sticks that Y1 have sent me are demonstration sticks. So they have been used, they're not new out of the package. So some of them may have deteriorated slightly if they are the more popular model. All the balance points and weights of the stick that I reviewed from Y1 were calculated after the addition of a Boss F Hockey Pro Grip. With all that said, I'll give you my honest opinion of these sticks that I've been sent by Y1. The second stick that I'm reviewing from Y1 is their new GLBX stick. Now this is a new bow profile that they've introduced this season. The stick's composition is 95% carbon with the remaining 5% being made up of an Aramid fiberglass and Kevlar blend. It features Y1's Swedish X-Carbon jacket, has a maximum bow point of 210mm from the head of the stick and a maximum bow of 24.5mm. The Y1 technologies involved in this stick are the Swedish X-Carbon technology, the power zone to increase the backhand performance, Y1's flat face design for easy collection and skills on the reverse, as well as the GLB bow and the bristled extended high control area. The stick I received from Y1 weighed in at 535 grams with a bow point of 36.5 centimeters from the head of the stick. While this stick is not balanced to my liking, I did find that it was very responsive on the ball and offered good feedback when you were dribbling. The low balance point made the stick a bit slow to dribble with, but it made controlling the ball much easier as you had more weight behind it when you were stopping the ball. I found the stick to be very good on reverse for control and dribbling, and so this made it great for using large drags to take the ball away from a defender. Because of the weight being low down in the stick, I also felt like the stick gave me much better protection on the ball from bad tackles coming in, and it was able to keep the ball under control in tight situations because of that additional weight. This allowed me to use tight movements to create the space that I needed to get a shot in the D or to take it away from a defender using those long drags. The stick has hard angles running down the two front edges that can take some getting used to when you first pick up the stick. Because these edges are so angular right up to the grip, you can really feel them at all times even if you put a chamois grip on over the top. The top edge also has a groove running just behind it and your thumb can slip into that if you're playing in the wet or if you take a heavy challenge and that can cause you to lose your grip on the stick and lose control of the ball. The low balance point of this stick gave some real meat to the head when hitting. The Swedish X carbon sleeve gives great power transfer when you're hitting the ball and the stick has a very large sweet spot so you'll be able to hit cleanly with the sweet spot 99 times out of 100. The stick also seems to limit the negative feedback so you don't get that painful vibration through your hands. The flat face also gives great accuracy when hitting as it always seems to hit square to the ball and so your follow through shows you exactly where the ball is going to end up. Because of the thick edges on the stick it can be a little difficult to get the ball to lift when you're shooting which is really uncommon with a Lobo stick. With a bit of practice though you will soon be able to find those top corners. This stick is really great for slap hitting. It has the two thick edges which gives you a nice square face to hit with. Because of this I really like to use slider passes with this stick and I found that it gave excellent accuracy and power. This stick has a truly great square reverse edge. It is one of, if not the thickest reverse edge I have ever used. This means that you can always strike with a solid connection on the ball as long as you're using the right technique. Because the connection is so consistent, you can really focus on aiming your reverse stick strikes and find those corners with ease. You can also hit the ball flat so consistently that you'll have no worry about using Tomahawk to play long distance passes, whether that's a hard pass down the line from left back or a hard cross from left wing for a deflection. You can also use the consistency of this edge in a similar way to use the face on the forehand and can almost play slider like passes on the reverse. This is the only stick that I've ever been able to do this with. It can be a little bit difficult to lift the ball on reverse at first because of the thickness, 
but with a little bit of practice, you can find how to get under the ball easily. And once you've done that, you can easily control the height of the ball, whether that's hitting it into the top of the backboard or finding those top corners. Because the hard edges run down both sides of the stick, it gives the GLBX a thick square edge right round the bottom of the head. Now this chunky head makes it a little bit difficult to get under the ball if you use any 3D skills or lifts. This means that it can be very difficult to get under the ball when you're in tight spaces to execute 3D skills or to get a quick lifted shot at goal. Because of this, I found myself using 3D skills less during gameplay. This made me rely on 3D skills less during gameplay when using this stick and sticking with using larger drags when I was in a one-on-one -on -one situation with a defender. Once you are able to get under the ball and lift it onto the face of the stick, you can utilize the bow to generate power on shots. I also found that the stick was very accurate when I was flicking once I was under the ball, but I would quite often not get under the ball and end up just pushing the ball very hard. The exception to this is actually on reverse where the stick is really good for 3D skills. The ball rose really nicely onto the head of the stick and you can easily lift it into the air. This stick is far better on reverse for lifting the ball and using 3D skills than on open stick. As with flicking, this is not an area where the stick really shines. Because the head is so chunky around the edge, it can be difficult to get under the ball. What I found for overhead passes, where I wanted the ball to travel more than 30 yards, I needed to roll the ball back towards myself and able to lift it onto the face to add the distance that I needed. Once you get the ball onto the stick, you can use the bow to add power, but without rolling the ball back towards yourself first, you couldn't effectively give the pass the height required, so you end up either passing low and long or high and short. With the addition to your technique of rolling the ball back towards yourself, you can easily throw the ball 40, 50 yards down the pitch, but in a game situation, that is time that the opponent can use to close you down. With drag flicking, this stick was again difficult to master. Because of the difficulty getting under the ball because of the thickness of the head, it can be hard to make full use of the bow without getting your hands almost in contact with the AstroTurf when drag flicking. With practice, it is possible to work on your pickup and your drag so that you use a slightly inward curve on your drag to motivate the ball up onto the face of the stick. And once you do this, you can use the bow to its full potential to add power to the flick. Once you have made this slight modification to your drag, you can use the bow to generate power and can easily launch the ball into any corner of the goal. The flat face of the stick also makes it great for accuracy as the ball rolls smoothly off the head of the stick and as long as you point your stick to where you want the ball to finish up it gives you excellent control. The stick is really great for playing slider style passes hard and flat to a teammate for a deflection by the post or just firing the ball into the bottom corner. If you're an attacker who likes to have a deadly reverse stick shot and doesn't focus too much on 3D skills, preferring to keep the ball on the end of your stick and use fast drags to create the space that you need to get your shot off, then I cannot recommend this stick highly enough. The consistency of the reverse edge is truly amazing and it will give you so much confidence when taking on even difficult angled shots.